Hi guys, welcome back to Hearing Dog Adventures, I'm Carl. Elvis is just in the boot there, having a quick nosy. Um, I'm going to be doing a quick video today for my um, 12th video of the 12th um, day. This is Charlotte. Hiya. She's just gone getting some food for the snake. Um, I'm going to be looking at doing an update on Elvis' training when I get home and also just do another uh, wrapping hack using toilet rolls, uh, do the empty toilet roll tubes. So let's get to that. Guys, uh, Elvis's work is doing pretty well, um, considering I've not done much this week again uh, due to the pain in my back and my ankles. And we're still trying to fight this ear infection with Elvis's ears. Um, I've got my trainer coming on Thursday just to do a review and recap then. Um, let me see if I can find a squeaker. I, I, here we go. I'll just show you now. Again, excuse the state of the room. I've not tidied up yet from doing the video the other day. Do the squeaker with him now. Nope. Don't know where he's gone. Elvis! He was there a minute ago. He's a cheeky little sod. Elvis! Oh, here he goes. Good boy. You see, the squeaker, not a problem um, when he's in the room with me at the minute. But, again, it was really unplanned with the squeaker. Um, I'd show you the sounds, the other sounds that we are doing at the minute, but um, I've currently... Um, got my speaker upstairs and we're obviously having a bad back don't want to be winning up there just to get the speaker um yeah we're doing really well um we're settling in really well he's been spoiled for christmas um truly spoiled spoiled little brat um i know there's something i do want to mention to you actually while while we're he here one sec um i've currently got this tailor-made dog food for him Tails, it's called. Um, it's like twenty pound a month, and it's delivered to your door. And that bag lasts a, a full thirty days. <laughs> so I'm starting him on that tonight. Well, I tried it, tried him with it tonight for his tea. Um, and I'm going to see how we'll go over the next few days because I've noticed he's doing a bit of flatulences, Elvis. Aren't you, dude? Are you nudging me for no sounds now? Oh, yeah, so I forgot we have to ignore him when he does that. Uh, so, yeah, we're just currently just um, a, a quick note, heads up on the um, Christmas, Christmas market rejection from the market, Christmas market, when we was told wasn't allowed access via this ugly man. Um, I have recently just filled out the... What what happens is when we do a refusal for access, even though it didn't really refuse access in the end, we did get access to it. I've done this farm. This is a general rule of thumb that once we're refused entry somewhere, you basically put the name of the recipient and the name of the hearing dog with the numbers, date and time of incident, location of incident, um, a summary of the incident, so I've just put there briefly a quick summary of what's gone on and then any other information they need to know. So I did mention on this that um, even though we was able to gain entry, the guy had really, really bad attitude, like, oh, I wouldn't throw a, gift, uh, a blind guy out because, you know, they'd be blind and you're not blind. So I've mentioned that. Uh, thank you for my um, viewer that has been in contact with me on Facebook. Thank you very much. Um, you have really helped me with, with this. Um, and I'm going to get in touch with the council in the morning. We was waiting before reporting it to the council uh, to get his full name. Because my partner, Iggy, works with a lady that apparently knows this guy. <coughs> Excuse me. Apparently knows this guy, but doesn't know his full name. So we were waiting on her to get his full name before we can go to the council and report it. But I've decided with this other lady, other lady, um, Hel Helena, she's called, 
Um, she's another lady that's waiting for a recipient dog. Um, and um, she's on the waiting list. And she was asking me a few questions about how long it takes and yada, yada, yada. So I've tried answering my questions best I can for you. Uh, thank you very much, Elena, for your your help and your feedback with this matter. I really, really do appreciate it. I've not given out your surname because I didn't know if it was all right or not. So we'll just call you Helena. I uh, hope this is okay. You know who you are. Um, I'm now going to um, basically get hold of somebody in the council in the morning. And I've even got the letter done there. I've printed off his pictures best I can. Uh, unfortunately, I've deleted the video. But what I, what I have done is done a screen capture, like screen, screen record of the YouTube that I did. Um, where he's giving his attitude like, oh, I wouldn't um, throw a blind guy out, but you're not blind. So, you know, like like that makes it any any any, other, any more different. Um, there's a lot of insensitivity, ins what's the word? Insensitivity, is it? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, um, but yeah, there's, it's basically, ba like, they either don't know, they're just not aware, or it's just blind, don't care, you know. But, you know, even to this day, after having a gill for so long, and waiting for this new dog, and doing a lot of volunteer work for hearing dogs myself, with these money boxes and stuff, I found that um, there's still not a lot of people aware of hearing dogs and what hearing dogs do so it's funny really the amount of people that will come up and go oh i never i never knew they did a hearing dog and you go on about the hearing dog and like all the other dogs that that help people with their disabilities or illnesses and they're like dumbfounded that there's that many dogs that are there to help people with disability or illness um so maybe he was one of them that just didn't realize but it still doesn't make it right after me handing the letter to the guy. And then he just refused to even read this letter. This is what really got my goat, what really annoyed me. I gave him this letter after him asking for it. But then never even looked at this letter. So, you know, insensitivity... Ins insensitive. Insensitive. Sorry, I can't say that word properly. Um, so, you know... Um, I think basically this guy obviously needs to do a bit of a uh, disability awareness course or something, you know, to basically open his eyes and not... Because a lot of people, and I know there's a lot of people out there that think, right, well, I'm not blind, I don't have to learn about it, or I'm not deaf, I don't have to learn about it, or, you know. Um, I have a lot of friends, well, I have several friends who have guide dogs and a friend who's just been paired with a, a canine partner so you know it's it's i could easily throw my hair, hair, my hat in the air and go i don't bother me so why should i involve myself you know if you look at my website i've tried to incorporate all the dogs i can find out about and that i've learned about you know uh on my website uh it's simple site i'll try and put it in the link at the, on the description below um feel free to check it out it does do like all the different um things we're up to and and all the things we've done uh including videos photos and stuff oh by the way i hope you enjoyed the uh the photos on this video charlotte hughes i am so so sorry but i had to do it i had to do it but i love you loads thanks for your help today um but yeah i had to do it um charlotte doesn't know this yet but um, I have put her picture up of San with her and S the fake Santa, um, and she only actually had it done because she she took my photograph of me with Elvis. We did a couple of photo shoots with Elvis with Santa and a sleigh and some bears. And do you know what? Elvis really did like it, you know, and it was so cute, like heartwarming, just seeing him all Christmassy next to all these ornaments and decorations. Um, yeah. So anyway, I've got these glasses, so once I get um, to a certain sub subscriber number, I'm going to look at, say, 50 subscribers, I will give out these glasses for free. Um, and th These are the ones that I've just on the previous clip just then, where you can see the snowman on the standard fairy lights. 
which I've got to show Matthew and Chloe yet. I think Chloe will be in love with these glasses. But Chloe, you're not having them. Somebody's got to win them. Um, but yeah, so anyway, we've had a good day today. We've had a good day with photo shoot. We've had a good day with some of the videos. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do the toilet roll. Um, toilet roll wrapping hack today unfortunately even though i did promise it at the beginning of the video but i will definitely definitely do it tomorrow um i forgot to get ribbon uh and i think really to do this i'm gonna need a ribbon or um double-sided tape i'm sorry i'm just feel i'm not feeling so well this evening i don't know why i just started feeling really yucky so, anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing in the world, keep smiling. Be nice. It's nearly Christmas. Woohoo, nearly Christmas. It's our first Christmas with Elvis. So, I'm, I'm looking forward to that and just seeing, well, not his expression of how spoiled it's going to be because I don't think he gives a monkeys, but hoping to see how much he enjoys his toys, his treats, and his new clothes that I've got him. And this time I've bought them from a local shop, so I know they do fit him. And Kim, I've got um, it's Kim from Star Sparkle. I've got a couple of things I was I wanted to give to you. Obviously, I've got a Christmas card for you. I don't know where I've put the Christmas Christmas card though now. So I have got a Christmas card for you, but I've also got these if they'll fit um, your 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 princess. It's an Addy Dog. I bought it for Elvis and it's just way, way, way too small. So I don't know if it'll fit her. And also, you've got to put her on this. And it's mine and Iggy's favourite, a minion onesie. So I'm giving you them for the dog. So please send us some pictures so I can put them on, on my channel of her wearing them. Hopefully they'll fit. If not, don't worry about it. Um, it was just a waste of money really buying them because in China... Apparently their dogs are, are really, really small. Even though I did ask for a lot. They're, they are large, by the way. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Wherever you are in the world, guys, and whatever you're doing, please keep smiling. A Merry Christmas for me and Elvis. Have a good evening. Take care. Yeah, we've just come across these glasses. Uh, you look at the, any fairy lights with these magic gla Christmas glasses. And with this one, you, you're meant to see snowmen. So obviously normal lights. Oh, Elvis is pulling. Normal lights. Oh, it works on camera. Snowmen. Normal lights. Snowmen, I've so got to get a pair of them. They're cool. Now the exact same ones, but with Santa. So the lights, and there's Santa. Normal lights, Santa, they are cool them, um. try the Santa ones, oh and we've got gingerbread men as well, so again let's have a look, oh that's cool, I've got a new toy, oh, gingerbread men, that is cool, and these are just bug standard, Christmas lights and it works with all the lights as it says there Thank you.